<clears throat> hey, yo, let's do it to it. All right, all right, all right. What we got here? All right, got the website. Summer promo, got some course member results, looking fricka fricka fresh, look at that back of the head boy, so nice. Alrighty, let's see what we got. I definitely should have told people, but uh, this is definitely more of a spontaneous uh, live stream. So I'll give it a, a minute or two, see if others uh, jump in. Gotta say what's up to all the new members. What do we have right now? Uh, 124 plus 8. We're at 132. Wow, that's awesome. 132. How's this haircut look? Still see a little bit of hard lines right here and right here. It's not too bad. This side looks a lot better. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that, man. Sometimes you, one side's just like one side just cooperates and the other side doesn't. I don't know why it's like that. It's weird. Let me send the link to the uh, to the Discord. Oh, what's this question? Uh, da -da, da -da. I have no idea what those clippers are. This side looks really good compared to this one. Maybe it was the lighting. The beard looks pretty solid too. Around the neck looks okay. Could have been a little bit sharper, but it's okay. What's up, guys? What's got? What's going on in the chat? Hashi Bull Akash, what's going on, guys? I didn't. Uh, I didn't promote this live stream. It was very spontaneous. Um, I've been on uh, like mini vacations over the past two, two and a half weeks, three weeks even. Um, so I, every time I've been gone, it's been around the date where I usually do the live stream. So I haven't had, you know, time to do the live stream. Um, so I'm jumping on spontaneously right now. And then hopefully next week I can jump on uh, again. And... Uh, go back to like the you know every thursday morning do the live stream so i was i was doing really good and then <laughs> many vacations came up and i was just like ah 
got to jump back on it. BMC, I'm good, man. How are you? Everything is good. But uh, if you guys want to ask me any questions while I'm here, you can definitely ask me. Uh, I'll be on for at least, you know, 20, maybe 30 minutes, uh, you know, total. 30, um, about 30 minutes total, I'd say. And then I'm going to get going because I'm going to give myself a fresh new haircut. Uh, I'm going to make a nice, nice video for you guys. Uh, what about you? Good, good, good. Everything's good, man. Um, what's it called? For those of you that aren't in the um, Self Haircuts for Beginners official group chat, this is pretty much just a Discord, a group chat, um, where I'm trying to basically create the world's largest uh, group chat for self haircuts, right? There's uh, many people out there like Blue Mon that have uh, extremely large like Facebook groups um, for his his you know Blue Mon channel, and I think uh, it's only right that I have something similar and grow something so niche and specific to such great heights, like. I don't really get much from this Discord. You know, it's fun. I help people out. I, I talk to you guys. It's a good time. Everyone's very friendly, and I appreciate that. Um, but really, it's just I want to have the largest, you know, self haircut group chat in the world. And I think if we all share and, and have a good time, you know, it'll just magically grow on its own. Um, and that's, that's you know, it'd just be cool to be a part of, the, you know, the growing process. Because self haircuts, complete to be completely honest um i've been doing this for 13 years now and only within the past two years has cutting your own hair become uh like popular right cutting your own hair really became popular in the past couple of years because of covid right people started watching my videos and realized that it wasn't impossible to cut your own hair so now that it's becoming more of like a thing, people are actually starting to gain confidence around the world and they want to start saving money and start saving their time and cut their own hair, cut their family's hair for free, you know, the friend's hair for free if they want to. You know, the fact that you have the ability by just learning from me on YouTube or joining the self haircut course and you know, if you don't want to be a barber, that's perfect because you can save thousands of thousands of dollars by not having to get a barber license just to learn how to cut hair. You know, I teach this stuff for for free on YouTube or for, you know, very cheap with my self record course. Um, and again, for those of you that don't know, I also do one on one live streams in my self record course for all of the members. So if you ever have any questions and you want to talk to me, you know, one on one via like a Zoom call. Um, definitely check out the self record course. We can jump on and uh, for a whole hour, you've got my time and I can help you out with any questions regarding your tools, your technique, uh, pretty much just anything you have, you know, I'm, I'm there to help you out. But yeah, you know, goal is to help out uh, as many people as possible and uh, grow, grow this discord, grow this group chat. You know, I'm, I'm happy to see 130 uh, two people have joined and it's uh, a really fun time a lot of people have good questions a lot of you guys do really good especially you know for your first couple of haircuts I'm seeing a lot of photos and people are doing really good work for just a few haircuts and it only just proves that it's possible uh, let me see the questions how can I give a fade by using five, six, nine millimeter clipper size. Can you explain this? What the clipper guard sizes? The five is what? What's the five? Don't, don't, don't. All right, what did you say? The five, six, and nine millimeter. What? 
<laughs> I think this might be wrong. Yeah, I don't think they have a five millimeter. So the six is a two. What is it? Five, six, and nine. Yeah, I don't know about. I don't think there there is no five. Yeah, it's three, six, ten. Um, yeah, I mean once once you reach around like the the two to the number three guard, that's when you can start using the thinning shears to start blending things in. Once you reach like six to ten millimeters, that's when you can start using the thinning shears to blend in. Um, because of course there's no two and a half guard and four millimeter difference between six and ten you still will see some type of hard line so that's why i use you know thinning shears around this area it's a little bit easier by using the size clipper comb and guard yeah um this one doesn't even have the half card or the one and a half card. How about this one? No, this one doesn't either. What? Huh. Oh, if do you guys have any like um, any video ideas that you want me to do, especially since I have a buzz cut right now? Uh, if you guys have any video ideas, let me know, and I'll take a look into it and uh, do it. Something regarding, like, you know, nice self-haircut, buzz cut self-haircut, something like that. Yeah, that's a nice haircut. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, when it comes to the to the higher guards, like, five, like six millimeter, ten millimeter, I'm assuming this is some, I don't know what, where you got a five, six, nine millimeter, but uh, it's not, not normal, at least from what I'm used to. You could shave your beard off. <laughs> not yet. I'm trying to look like Leonidas. I'm trying to, trying to get my This Is Sparta on. <laughs> Alright, I think that's fine. Let's see. That's funny. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, I, I, I just, a few days ago, I, I took a whole hour and a half and went through a bunch of YouTube comments because um, I had some time and uh, I've definitely been slacking. One of the, One of the reasons why I do um the live streams is also to talk to you guys one-on-one -on -one, basically well kind of um because i can't always get into the youtube uh, comments you know it's hard there's a lot of comments and it takes a lot of time for me to do that and go through each and in, each individual comment and, and reply or heart or whatever um so i feel like doing the live stream helps out a lot because you guys are all here with me right now and if you have questions it's it's you know this is like the dedicated time out of the week where i can help you guys so that's one of the one of the big reasons why i like doing these uh do a haircut video by using six nine thirteen i don't have those cards <laughs> where, where's the list i just had he said six nine and thirteen so basically a two, three, and a four. My hair's gotta grow to get to that level. And I plan on I you know I plan on keeping the buzz cut for a while. Do a haircut video by using six nine. I mean I have done videos like this. Where's my um uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Where's my I should put the playlist in here. I should put the playlist in here too, maybe. Yeah, any any um, longer haircut videos, I might not be able to do <laughs> for a while. Because <laughs> uh, I'm keeping the, the buzz cut for now. Um, I do have videos, like one, like a few of my self haircuts from two years ago like early on in my channel 
I have used the number two guard, the number three guard, the number four guard. I have used those guards. So if you want to check those out, you can check those out. Uh, it's one of my first, you know, my first like five or ten self haircuts. My hair was a little bit uh, longer on the sides and the top. Uh, hey Alex, how are you doing? Good man, how are you? I see you in the comments all the time, movie bites. <laughs> Can you please make a video on a few techniques of clippers for practicing, which helps to improve our self regard skills. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. I mean, just a an easy thing to to work on in terms of growing your skills and practicing with the clippers is, uh, you know practicing it's actually you know it's cutting your hair it's it's having one of my videos right next to you while you're in the bathroom cutting your own hair right it's it's step one follow follow you know guideline number one and then do it on yourself and then click play guideline number two all right do it on yourself it's like going back and forth watch the watch the video do it on yourself. Watch the video. Do it on yourself. Like, if if you want to learn and improve, that's how you should be doing it. It's get find one of my videos that you like. Find a haircut video that you like and follow it step by step. Make sure you have the right tools. Make sure you're in a good environment. Uh, make sure you have good lighting, and just follow it step by step. You know, one after the other. Watch the video. Do it yourself. Watch the video. Do it yourself. Right. It's the best way to, to get better is to keep doing it, is to practice. You know, you're not going to get better cutting your own hair by not cutting your own hair. That's the only way to do it. DJ Charles. Hey, yo. Disc jockey Charles. Any good haircut for an asymmetrical chin face? I have no idea what that means. Can you send me a like a link of a photo on Google? Let me let me here. Let me copy this. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Asymmetrical chin face. Is this like a, a thing? Oh, okay. So it's like it's just slightly off off the line. I see. I mean, there's nothing that's. I mean, I don't know. These look a little before and after. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Wow, that sucks. Um, look, I mean, when it comes to to the to the, if your chin is asymmetrical, I mean, I would just figure out what haircut would go well with you, regardless of having you know, an asymmetrical chin, right? If your head looks like, like a rectangle, like this dude's here, like his, his looks kind of ovalish, kind of rectangle. Um, you know, this haircut suits him well. It's tight on the sides and a little bit on the top, which elongates his head a little bit more, which is, it looks good. Um, and then obviously here, it looks good too. I mean, it's, you know, slightly his chins to the side here. This one's straight. I mean, this guy, eh, I don't think that haircut looks good on him. I think he's got a little bit too much right here by the sideburns. But I mean, I would say usually something a little bit tighter on the sides and with a tiny bit of length on top will usually be uh, pretty solid um, for most people. Not everybody, but for most people, something a little bit shorter on the sides and then a, a tiny bit longer on the top usually looks better for most people. Um, any tips for dealing with a double crown for self haircuts? That's another word I don't know. Double crown hair. No way. You got two of them? What? Yeah, wow, look at that. Dude's got two of them. No way. 
Yeah, I mean, when it comes to things like this, you just have to go with the flow of the of the the swirl, right? I mean, at that point, you can't you can't dig into the swirl. I mean, it's kind of like I guess like waves in a way. Like you have to treat it like waves. Um, you can't dig into the you can't dig into the swirl because you're gonna cut it too short and it's gonna look weird. Um, yeah, I would say. You know, kind of, especially if it's in the crown. I mean, that's not a bad spot to have it, though. Like, imagine having it on, like, the, f the top of your head. That'd be even worse. Wow, double. I've never seen that before. That's crazy. There's more? Dang, this bull's got two, too. Wow, this guy's got two. Yeah, I mean, right, right in here where the swirl is... You want to leave the hair a tiny bit longer in here. If you cut this hair too short, it's going to you're you're going to make yourself look like you're balding, right? You want to leave this a little bit longer in the swirl. It's like have everything short going into the swirl, but leave the swirl a little bit longer. That's what you want to do because obviously, you know, you can see where it is and depending on your hair length, you know, the longer the little bit better, I would say. This guy's got thin hair. Um, where else? Jeez, that's a big one. Wow. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, you have to, you have to let the hair flow. You can't dig into the swirl. You, if you dig into the swirl, you're going to mess up your hair big time. You got to leave some, a little bit, you got to leave a little bit so that it has the ability to swirl and then lay flat on your head. If you cut too much, it's going to stick up and it's going to look weird when the rest of your hair is laying flat. That's wild. Two. I've only, I mean, Calix, you're, you know, used to seeing one. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, sometimes it's not always going to work, um, but you have to keep trying. You know, why do you think you messed up? What do you think was the fault? Did you rush? Was the lighting not good enough? You know, maybe you have glasses. Could you not see properly? You know, what was the issue? Did you did you have the clippers angled at a weird uh, angle? Or did you go too high with the guideline? There's a lot of things you have to you have to. I mean, honestly, you should record it, record it, and then go back and use that footage. And then look at my videos and then look at your footage side by side and, you know, see what you could have done better. Uh, Retro the six. I have bad eyes and because of it, I struggle to do myself fades. Is there any hope in continuing? Do I wear prescriptions while I cut? Yeah. Um, if you've got glasses, wear glasses. You know, you only you only need like. They only curve around your ear, so once you get your first guideline in, like you can throw those, you can throw them back on. Um, and if you have contact lenses, even better. You know, you don't need to worry about glasses, or you don't need to worry about having anything in the way. Um, but yeah, no, for sure. If if you need your glasses, you know, wear your glasses. Um, but I do recommend getting contacts if you need them. Plus, I think contacts are, are a little bit better too. Uh, yeah, I've been fading. I've been using fade culture steps for myself haircuts. You should do a vid on their fade method. Yeah, I am. I will be doing one. I think I showed it showed it to you guys before. But I have the uh, I have the notes right here, and uh, it's actually their their technique is actually pretty similar to what I what I use like my my go to technique. Oh, it's like slightly different though, but it's pretty similar. But I will be using their technique in a future video. Uh, believe me, I, I got I got a bunch in the archive, a lot of ideas waiting. But I, I I appreciate that. It's considered good luck in India. I'm not in. <laughs> yeah, right. It's always considered good luck. <laughs> uh, how can I improve my scissor skills? Can you please make a video on using scissors on haircut? 
Yeah, I've got plenty of videos on using scissors. Um, it, it, like thinning shears for sure. Like that's I've got tons of them. Uh, I haven't cut my hair too much on the top with scissors, uh, but I do have videos on them. Like the first video I made, I think like one of the first few I had did another one uh, with scissors. Um, yeah, I mean the biggest thing with scissors is you have to section your hair vertically and horizontally and you have to have your hair uh you know i do the perimeter guideline which is basically cutting your hair at like a 30 45 degree angle making sure that the front is longer than the back so it's it kind of goes in like this 30 45 degree angle you're leaving the front longer and the back shorter and then of course you have to blend all that in using thinning shears and using actual scissors uh, if you want <laughs> i can tell you all of this and go into more detail with you over Zoom uh, if you want to join the self record course. For those of you that don't know, the self record course um, is currently $99 for a summer promotion that I'm running uh, for the entire summer. So it ends August 31st. If you guys want private one-on-one -on -one live session sessions with me, right? Private one-on-ones. I do Zoom calls for one hour every single week. Um, with you guys, with all the course members. If you guys want that, if you feel like you need it and you're serious and you really want to learn how to cut your own hair, definitely join and you know we can jump on a Zoom call together. Uh, I'll cut my own hair after one hour. Wish me luck. Yeah, good luck. I'll be cutting my hair today too. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving myself a nice little haircut today. Fortunately, my crowns are really close to each other, and I've been leaving it a bit longer, just trying to blend it in a little bit. Thanks for the advice. Of course. Yeah, yeah. You know, you gotta leave leave the swirls, man. Leave the swirls. Let them do their thing. Uh, I've been kind of here since 2022, more than two years. Your videos also help me a lot. Thank you, bro. Yeah, of course. Feel free to send... Uh, feel free to send me some uh, before and after footage of your next haircut. I want to do a reaction video. I want to, you know, compile a bunch of videos of my subscribers and do a reaction video. Um, basically, you know, just talking about your self haircuts, what I think you could have did better with, what I think you did well with. Um, and I think it'd be a really fun video kind of critiquing uh, my subscriber self haircuts. I think it'd be a really cool video. I already have one video. So I think... If I could get at least another four, you know, have five total, I think it'd be nice for a solid like eight, nine minute video. Uh, and you can email me too. My email is in the, in the description. You can email me the link to, to the video. Uh, can dandruff make your hair feel thin and dry? Greetings from the homeland. <laughs> um, can dandruff make your hair feel thin? I don't think so. I don't think it can make your hair feel thin, but I do think dry. Yes. Um, the one of the big reasons, and I have a a dandruff video coming out um, soon. I'm still editing it. I'm still creating footage. I'm still making it. Um, it's, I want it to be like a massive video. I want this video to get millions of views because it's so so important that people know this because. And I hope I don't get canceled. I remember I said this in a previous live stream. I hope I don't get canceled for creating this video because it's so powerful. Um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of it has to do with your food. A lot of it has to do with your your lifestyle. Um, lifestyle food is like ninety percent of it, right? Greetings from the homeland. Get, get a lot of vitamin D. <laughs> go go outside, go sweat, go get some sunlight, drink a lot of water. And uh, yeah, you're new. I mean, if you're from Greece and you've got dandruff, you're eating too much pasta and bread, my friend. Too much pasta and bread and potatoes. Uh, but the video will be out soon. You know, uh, ho hopefully it'll be out in the next month. I don't know. <laughs> it's it, I want it to be really good, so I'm taking my time. Uh, yesterday... No soy un alterno. Yesterday I bought a wall machine, and today I'll try to cut my hair off for the very first time. Perfect. Yeah, of course. Good luck, man. 
let me know how it goes. You know, use uh, join the 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 Discord group chat. Um, join the Discord group chat. The links in the description. Here, let me let me find it. Uh, right here. Join the Discord group chat and send us photos or send us videos of the before and after. Uh, is clipper over comb really doable on a self haircut? Um, that's tough. I think it's probably easier to just use thinning shears and a comb. I don't think it's feasible to do clipper over comb. Um, you know, especially if you're talking about the sides, like you, it's, I don't know, it's, it's very tricky because you have to be super precise. The comb has to be perfectly angled. The clipper has to be perfectly angled. You have to gradually move up perfectly. Um, there's like minimal room for error using clipper over comb. And with self haircuts, you know, you're looking through all these mirrors, you have to bend your body a certain way. It's tricky. I think it's much safer using a scissor because it's you can control it more, right? If you mess up with that clipper and then boom, you knock off a bunch of hair, then you know you're done. <laughs> you gotta redo the whole haircut. So I think scissor, uh, thinning shears, and comb is much better than uh, clipper over comb for a self haircut. Um, do you recommend using Moser clippers? Let's see. Moser hair clipper. These look extremely cheap. AliExpress for fifteen dollars. What is this? One hundred and ten. This is Andis. Yeah, these clippers look extremely cheap. Honestly, I, if I were you guys, if you guys have questions about tools, you know, I have a whole page on my website dedicated to the tools and equipment that I recommend. Um, I'll leave that in the, the chat here for you guys as well. But yeah, th those Moser clippers, these look, like I can, just by looking at the build quality, there's... Is there even a lever? Is that a lever right there? What is that thing? Nah, that's not a lever. Get out of here. You're gonna make that a lever? No, it's not. That's not a lever. That's crazy. Look at this. Nah, I don't know about that. And it's corded too. If you're gonna spend money on a clipper in 2022, you gotta get one that's that's cordless. We don't do corded in 2022. <laughs> yeah, most most barbers use wall or babilis or andis, but look, if you're if you're cutting your own hair, you don't need a name brand clipper like that. It has to be within a certain price point though, you know. Minimum $35. Um, I'd say on the cheaper side, $35 to, let's say, $50, you know, that's like the cheaper side, $35 to $50, you can definitely get a solid clipper. I think the Kemi clipper is like, what, $35, $40? Oh, went up? Wow. I bought mine at like $35, I think. Now it's $42. But yeah, inflation, <laughs> things are getting more expensive. Oh, they've got silver ones too? Oh, that's cool. Mm, yeah, look at that. And then the, the clippers that I use right now are even cheaper than this. I think I spent, no, they were $50, $45 or $50, but they came with a trimmer as well. And those are really good. Uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that most likely to the page here so you guys can check those out as well. Uh, yeah, you can get a really solid clipper off Amazon for less than sixty bucks. Um, I think the the Suprints here with the trimmer 
Oh, dang, these went up to 80? They were like 65 before. Uh, it comes with a cape, comes with a little trimmer. But I, I know for a fact that these are really good clippers, though. Like, these are solid. Uh, carbon steel blade. Yeah, I know these are really good clippers, too. Yeah, usually when it has blades like this, they're they're slightly more heat resistant, which is which is good, especially for for self haircuts. Uh, having blades that are heat resistant is solid. Oh, and it comes with the stainless steel combs. Yeah, you got the one point five, four and a half, three six. Yeah, yeah, it comes with the 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 half guard and the one and a half guard. That's good. It's got the half guard, the one and a half guard, the one, two, three, four. Yeah, it comes with everything that you need. You don't even need to buy anything separate. That's fantastic. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's the half guard and the one and a half guard. Nice. Comes with a comb, cape. Okay. Maybe it makes me feel a little bit better now that it's even though it's it did go up in price, it's still it's still solid. That this is literally all you're gonna need for however many years to come. You're not gonna need anything <laughs> for a long time. But that's good. Uh you can just adjust that lever. There are five levels. You should do a video with it, bro. Da -da 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 -da. Stylecraft has a clipper protege and trimmer for 150. What's Stylecraft? Stylecraft clippers. $230. <laughs> oh, you know what? I've seen these before. Oh, no, that's not even the right clipper. No, that's not even the right clipper. Where's the, is this it, the style crafts right here? This is a trimmer. I think it's these. Yeah, SC. Absolute, what does it say? Absolute Alpha. <laughs> What's up with these names nowadays? This one's cool. This one's really cool. You can see the mechanics on the inside. I like that. Ah, you can't zoom in. What a bummer. Elare. whatever yeah it looks cool it looks really cool actually I like the the designs pretty unique the lever looks pretty unique that's cool it's different yeah I mean it looks all right it's just really expensive and they're Magnetic guards. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I've seen this one too. Barbers use I've seen barbers use this one. Wow, it looks just like the Babilis clipper. It looks exactly like it. Same exact lever, same exact dial. Wow, okay. <laughs> Everyone's just copying each other nowadays. This stream will be available on this channel. I missed the part of the double crown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This the stream will be available. Yeah. You just have to uh find the title for today. Yeah, all of all of the streams are always uh recorded and they're they're published on the on the channel. Yeah, I don't delete these. Um which model are your babylists? I have let me go to the, the website here. I have these. I've got the Babilis Pro FXs. Um, I've got the, the clipper, the trimmer, and I have the, the cordless shavers. So <clears throat> I've got these three right here. Let's see, what is it going for? Yeah, see, it's these things are expensive. Um, 220 bucks. I spent like four or five hundred dollars on all those things, on all three of them. Really expensive stuff. I mean, they are very good, don't get me wrong, but 
if you're cutting your own hair, you know, I don't think it's necessary unless you want to have like, unless you're really good at cutting your own hair, I don't think it's necessary to have it. Um, but if you really want it, I think it's a fantastic clipper and trimmer. The trimmers are fantastic too. So is the shaver. Uh, da -da -da -da. Bro, my country, shipping costs a lot. For example, if you want to buy something for $60, you will pay at least $100 or so. Jeez. What country do you live in? That shipping costs... <laughs> that shipping costs 70% of your order. Uh, da -da. Wall or Babylus? Which one? Um... I think they're both equal. I mean, they're both... I mean, here's the thing. You can use clippers that are literally $40 and get the same result as $200 clippers. The only difference is the experience of cutting your own hair and the time it takes, right? You can cut your hair a little bit faster with more expensive clippers. Um, the experience might be a little bit better as well with more expensive clippers because maybe the blades don't get hot. Maybe the blades are a little bit sharper. Maybe you don't need to run your run the clipper through your hair as much uh, with more expensive clippers. It's just the experience, you know? But I think Wall, Babylus, Andis, even the Stylecraft, I've seen a lot of people using, a lot of barbers using these uh, recently. You know, I'm sure they're really good. You know, if you're spending $200 on a pair of clippers, <laughs> I would hope they're good clippers. You know, especially if you can get them off Amazon for 40 bucks. You know, obviously they're not as good, but the result can be the same. Uh, da, da, da. There is one without gap for fades. I think wall is the best. I live in Algeria. <laughs> Never been to Algeria. I think uh, was it, isn't Mares from Algeria? Mares from Algeria, right? Isn't he on the Alge Algerian team? Yeah, he's Algerian. That's cool. Yeah, that's the bull. My man's got a left foot. Shipping from Amazon is the worst thing here. Wow, that's a bummer. Algeria gotta get its uh its trading game up. <laughs> I have Intermac Clipper. Let's take a look. What is it? How long are we here for? 42 minutes? All right, I'm gonna get going in a few minutes. I gotta go eat. This one doesn't look too bad. Let's see. It looks very similar to the wall uh, Magic Clips, right? Is it the Magic Clips? It looks very similar to the wall Clipper. It's got a, a lever. Um, it looks like it's built well. It looks like it's sturdy. Yeah, it looks okay. How much was this thing? 50 bucks. Yeah, I mean, it looks okay. I mean, I think, uh, I think it could last a few years before you have to upgrade, maybe get a new one, more a better one. The lever looks a little flimsy though. I don't know why, the lever looks a little flimsy. All right, not too bad. <laughs> All righty. All right, you guys, well, um, what's it called? Today's Thursday. Uh, Saturday morning in two days, I'm going to be posting another um, self-haircut video. Um, I'll let you guys know uh, a little sneak peek. It's going to be a mullet, a mullet self-haircut video. So uh, I think you guys will, you guys will like that video. It was a really, really awesome haircut. Really awesome haircut. 100% recommend getting a mullet if you have longer hair. <clears throat> Yasuyani, 
Do you have the same? You well, I mean, my my last name's not technically Kuras; it's shortened. But I guess you is Kuras your your real name, <laughs> or did you just copy and put 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 Kuras as as your name? <laughs> but that's funny. What's up, man? Love the videos. How come you don't use full shavers? Fade will pop more. Yeah, uh, if you watch watch my most recent buzz cut self haircut video, I tell you exactly, and you'll see exactly why I don't use foil shavers. My skin is so sensitive, I can't do it. It just doesn't work. I can't I can't use foil shavers because it just destroys my skin. My skin is too sensitive. It's a bummer because I know I've. I look at other barber haircuts and I'm like, dang, these look so clean when they're when they're shaved, right? But I just can't use it. Uh, my man's name is actually Kuras. What's up, dude? That's sick. <laughs> I'm over here shortening shortening my name to make it easier to to read and say. <laughs> and that's his actual name. That's cool. Shout out to John Kuras. That's cool, man. Fkaristo. All right. Uh, yeah yeah it's a bummer i wish i could do uh skin fades like that um maybe I'll, I'll try one again you know maybe when my skin feels healthier um but as of right now it's uh it's definitely something i'm not too uh happy with or confident with <laughs> but uh are you guys uh if you guys ever want to jump on a private one-on-one um, you can definitely join the self record course and I'll help you, you know, hands on through zoom for a whole hour. I um, mean, we can do this multiple times, you know, it's, it's up to you guys, uh, within the course. So as of right now, we're running a summer promotion come September 1st, the price is going to be increasing and I won't be dropping the price back to $99 again. Um, so if you want to join, if you've ever thought about joining now is a really, really good time to, uh, to get the best price. Um, also, link for my tools that I recommend uh, that you guys use for self haircuts and whatnot. Also here, um, if you want to join the Discord, join the Discord. We've got 133 members now. Yeah, 133 members now. Let's go. We're trying to get the. We're trying to have the biggest self haircut group chat in the world. Um, that's the goal. So if you guys want to join, definitely join and uh, join the party. <laughs> but uh, what's it called? All right, you guys. Thanks so much for, for joining. Um, I'll catch you guys next week. Hopefully I can jump on again as long as I'm not on another mini vacation. <laughs> All right. Take care. Stay tuned for this Saturday's self haircut. Peace.